In this video, I'm going to show you a very easy way of rendering a wireframe for your models so you can showcase, you know, the the backbone and the, the structure of your model on your portfolio. It's a cool way of, you know, showcasing your skills, but also, you know, if you need to present, for example, a sub D network of, of quads and how clean you can drive them, then this is a fantastic way of doing this. Or maybe you want to just, you know, flex that you can do crazy stuff with end guns. Either way works. But anyway, let me show you. So I already have a scene set up. This, by the way, is, you know, a bot from my course, from the sub D course. So if you're interested, you know Blender, but you don't know sub D yet, then grab it. It's fantastic. It's a very quick and fast add-on workflow for sub D. Anyway, so I have the lighting done. I have the background done, all the mats applied. Now, if you want it to make it a bit easier for yourself, you may want to select all the objects on your model and unify the mat. So apply the same mat to all of them, right? So select one of these, then control I and shift select, and then, you know, go here and simply copy the mat, right? Obviously you have to turn off the background, but you could, you could do this and then you can just run one color of wireframe for the whole thing. What I want to do is I want to showcase the mats and I want to showcase, you know, the render with the wireframe. So that's what we're going to be doing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the screenshot of this and I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me a color hex for the wireframe. But before we do that, we need to set it up. So go to cycles, right? We in cycles, go to rendering a tab and go to freestyle. And here we're going to set the thickness of the line. I would suggest going to something like maybe 0.3, then click here on the plane. Click here on the plane, we're gonna nuke this from the background because we don't need wireframe on the background and we're gonna turn the camera off. Select everything with a shift, select one of these, go to edge mode and then go here to right click and mark all the edges as freestyle. Now you can choose which edges are gonna be marked as freestyle so you don't have to select all of them. You could, for example, just, you know, um, display part of your model, which is fine. Let's go back and enable the plane here and the camera. And now we're gonna go here, let's just deselect it, go here to this, um, to the view layer tab. And if you enable freestyle on the render, you're gonna be able to see all the freestyle selections in here. So next let's go to freestyle line set and unroll this edge type deselect these and edge mark because we marked all the edges as freestyle so that's our detection right so now it's going to display now that's all you need to set up but there's one more thing the edge color so if you go here by default it's black it's going to be you know super visible here so i'm going to go to chargebt and ask it what would be the perfect hex for this specific model so now chargebt gave me a hex i'm going to paste it in here and it's going to be kind of like a sky blue, which should offset nicely against everything. And again, if you do not want to display the um, freestyle edges everywhere, you can select a specific object, go to edge mode and right click and clear freestyle edges. So select everything and clear them. So, you know, you can select specific pieces on your model. I want everything. So we're going to go with it. And all I need to do now is simply render it and you have to be patient. Uh, because uh, Blender first will run the render and then it's going to be creating the freestyle edges. So uh, first you're going to have the render and then you will see a message on top that it's creating the uh, freestyle edges. And you see here freestyle mesh loading and if your mesh is really dense it's going to take some time. We have a lot of polygons on this mesh. It's a dense sub D mesh so it's going to take a while so you just have to be patient. And there you go, that's your final result. And you know, you can tweak the color, you can tweak the saturation, change it to something else, maybe red, and it's gonna be peachy. So there you go, that's it for the video. And this is just a simple trick on this plain wireframe, but if you want to learn how to model all the tools and menus and everything you need to know in Blender to create this kind of cool model, then grab our accelerator course, which is fantastic. Close to 5,000 students, close to 1,000 five-star reviews. You can go on our website and check it out. It's superb, it's a very tight curriculum and it's going to teach you everything you need to know in no time. The link is in the video description and in a comment pinned under the video. 
video and like I said this bot is from our subd course but in order to go through that course you will need to actually know Blender and also be quite versed with the add-on workflow. So if you're not there yet grab the beginner's course which is the hard surface accelerator. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.